What's up, YouTube? My name is Bubix, and this is my lovely character named Bubix. Um, today, I will be showing you guys what the class Berserker is all about. Whether starting from a class, um, starting from their little description, to a skills, and why they're so good, and why they are so bad, and all that good stuff from inside out. So let's get started. So first of all, Berserker is a class that um, wields a long gigantic sword. So there's only one sword that you get to use. As you can see right here, I got this gigantic ass sword for me. Basically, Berserker is a melee combat warrior. Um, it's very tanky. At the same time, it deals a lot of damage. So, moving on, let's go to some skills that they have. And I'll display them one by one. First off, we have... Sang Chok Pok Part. Basically, you explode your injuries. And what it does, it does 216% um, damage to anyone. At the same time, it will heal up to 4% to you and your party members. As of right now, that is maximum at, at level 5. So, I just raced it. Um, let me show you how it works. Um, gotta find the mob real quick and get hit. So I could do this real quick. Where is the mob? Where is the mob? Where is okay? I see some mobs. I'm gonna take some hits. Get hit, get hit. While I do that, let me show you some action skills. Um, this is the skills that everybody gonna get. Um, first one is it's a healing ability that you get as a berserker, and what it does is you use SP and then it heals you up to 18%. So, yeah. Next one is gonna be the balloons. Uh, everybody has balloons that are starting at once they get to level 20. And what it does is you're gonna be able to click it and you get to fly. How awesome is that? Third one is ground crash. You learn this at level 14. What it does is you leap. And as you leap, you get to hit monsters as well. So I'm getting fairly low, so I'm gonna hit that healing button, which which is this skill right here. And as you can see, it healed me up 18%. And this will be the skill for the ability, first ability. I missed the attack. So I gotta do it again. I gotta get close. I heal. And now they have a bleed damage going on, ticking. And they'll take bleed damage as well. Next ability is PA Kangmai. So basically what this do is it attacks. And when I say attacks, it absorbs and it leeches damage and it will heal you for that amount. So, for example, when I attack it, I attack them at the same time, I get HP back. Pretty nice ability. It doesn't heal you for a crazy amount, but it is useful when you're doing PvP content or just when you're out of potions and all that good stuff, then you will be able to survive by hitting that button. So yeah, moving on to the next skill, we have PA Jemul. Uh, basically what this does is you're, you sacrifice your HP rather than your SP and you get to spam skills using that. So as of right now, my SP is full and I'm going to be using the ability, get it? And then I'm going to spin and what it does is it's actually draining my HP rather than my SP. And then the, the duration is only 6 seconds, but during that 6 seconds, you'll be able to do a lot more damage. And once that time is up, you'll be going back to your spending your SP instead of HP. Third skill. Um, this is going to be probably your main like damaging skill. And what it is, it throws down a gigantic um, swing to the ground, and then it attacks any monsters around it. Um, it does 286% as of right now for me with the upgrade of level 4. And basically, this is how the skill looks like. As you can see, I just sh I just literally one-shotted them. It is a really strong skill, but at the same time, there is, there is a cooldown time of 10 seconds. So, during those 10 times, maybe you gotta be spamming other skills as well. Third skill that we're gonna move into is Wind Cutter. Basically, what this does is 
it's a range it's one of the range ability that Berserker has. Um so let me show you how it looks. This is how it looks. Wind cutter. And as it goes, it goes straight in and then everything that's in between it will get hit. Very useful skill in grinding in my opinion because as a berserker you gotta literally leap to it. You gotta get close to the monster to attack. But having this ability allows you to really um, tag the monsters even though you're far away from it. So very useful, very useful. Um, this is gonna be the whirlwind ability basically. Um, as you can see in this picture, in the image right here. This is going to be probably your second primary ability to use um, to dump your all your SP. So what it does is literally hold down the button and you're going to be spinning around attacking until your SP all runs out. So what happens when the SP all runs out? Are you going to be running around and doing nothing uh, for the time being? No, that's not the case. We have this Rage Slash. Basically this is going to be the ability that to bring back your SP up. What it does, it does hack and slash left and right. You could also move while you're doing it. And as you're hitting the monster, you'll be getting your SP back. Fantastic stuff. Um, all, all other classes also has this ability where they, have, they use to get their SP back. Um, for Berserker, it is this hack movement. Um, it's really good is because at first it starts off pretty slow. But as the as it picks up speed, it'll go pretty quickly. It goes like boom, 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 boom. So it feels like the Berserker really takes the momentum and then goes for it. Okay. And these are basically the beginner skills, uh, which I probably will not be going into. So moving on, um, Berserker has two passive abilities. Um, this one allows basically increase your damage uh, increase your damage actually um it increase your armor penetration and then it takes less damage by a certain percent depending on your skills level um, for me as of right now at level three you're gonna take less damage of 1.8 percent and you're gonna be having an armor penetration by 1.8 percent pretty useful skill you don't need to do anything about it you just get it it is a passive ability so fantastic stuff let's move on to the next one which is the second um, basically this attack um, this ability allows you to increase your crit so every time you attack the monster um, you, uh, you basically debuff them and then um, you only you only get this debuff from actually critting the monster and then as it once you infect it with this passive um, they're gonna be taking damage by 27% every 12 um, for 12 second duration so pretty much it's kind of like a bleed ability that in any other warrior MMO class has um, same thing with this berserker since it is a damaging warrior class it has a bleed effect as well so yeah some pros about some cons let's start with the cons um, berserker Due to their being a range, uh, not a range class, um, they gotta get really get in front of the monsters, and sometimes it takes a lot of potions. Um, sometimes um, your HP gets drained down very fairly quickly, unfortunately. Um, so, which is kind of bad in my opinion. Other than that, um, although it is a warrior class, um, I feel like they do not have a lot of HP to accommodate that. Um, for example, a knight class will have a, you know, shield and all that defensive ability to really protect them from getting hit. But berserker tend to not have it. So if you look at berserker, they're more of a character of best defense is offense. So I'm gonna hit you and I'm gonna kill you before you kill me type of mentality. So very vicious, very aggressive type of playstyle, and yeah. Um, good thing about Berserker is as of right now they are on the top list of the da uh, best damage. Um, the highest crit that I did with the on a boss fight was around like six thousand to seven, um, close to seven thousand, which is fantastic compared to other classes. So they have insane amount of burst. 
so that is always good. Um, I feel like their attacking rotations are very smoothly transitioned, which is always good. So yeah, those are the benefits of it. And who it's just who wouldn't want to be a berserker with this gigantic sword? You get to swing this giant sword around, you know. So who does want to be that? So yeah, so this is a quick information about berserker. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys, you know, whenever you guys play Maple Story 2, try it out, see how it is. Um, if you like Warrior class and other MMOs, I definitely recommend you trying this class. It is fantastic. So yeah, have fun with the Maple Story 2. Ciao.